Hello everyone, welcome to DXB Agent Diaries and today we have Agent Talks. This format is new for us, so let's see how it goes. Today with me Raluca, my amazing colleague, very beautiful lady and expert in Dubai market. Uh, please welcome. Thank you Christina for the introduction, it was very great to be here with you today. Let's get into it, let's see how it goes, hopefully it's going to be something good. So our goal today is to discuss uh, the prime areas, very prime areas. Raluca is living on Business Bay, I'm more Marina girl. And maybe, maybe, there is some other areas, surprising area coming up. Oh, exactly. So most of the tourists here in Dubai, they, you know, Christina, they always know about basically Dubai Marina, downtown Dubai and so on. But there's so many other locations that they're not familiar with. So personally, I do live in Business Bay and I absolutely love it it's one of the obviously one of the very high commercial hubs where all the people are basically operating their businesses and so on a lot of the investors are considering the area because it's absolutely like very easy reach to to downtown it's like 1.5 kilometers to go to downtown which is like let's say five minutes by car as well you can walk to it if you if it's the weather is nice enough like it's a lot of like projects going on there obviously like have you been there? What do you feel about it? Like comparing to, let's say, Marina, that you know maybe better than I do. Yeah, um, I really like the business way. It's quite a successful project, I would say. And you guys having a lot of parts there. It's very close to downtown, which is amazing because you can see Burj Khalifa from your window. Exactly. Yeah, um, Marina. Yeah, it's a bit different. I would say even very different for me because uh, Business Bay, for its name, is quite business area. It's considered to be business and financial hub of Dubai. While at Marina we have more tourists, leisure, and kind of short-term rentals, which I believe you are successful in too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so for example, in you know Business Bay, because of the so many opportunities of let's say business and opportunities for investors. Like, let's say, whoever bought before, now they're doing like somewhere around, even I would say 10%. Personally, the, the, the building that I'm living in, they used to buy like a studio for 500 dirhams and now they're renting it for like, let's say 65. So it's even higher than 10%, I'd say. Obviously, not all the buildings, but you get a very high ROI regardless. So whoever is investing right now, I would say the same, looking at the future, even though it's a developed area and like the potential is still there because you know you have Bush Khalifa, you have the canal, you have like so many opportunities in the area, restaurants, like nightlife. There's so many things to like happening around there. So still very high potential. Yeah, sounds very cool. I believe the same Marina, you know, a lot of tourists know Marina better, so walk me through a little bit more. Yeah. To for Marina, we do have a lot of tourists. We also have our landmark. Uh, from our windows, we can see Palm Tremayor, which is very famous these days as well. We also can go there, it's very accessible and um, short time travel, like 10 minutes, and you're there. Uh, the community we are living in uh, surrounded by three malls, not only uh, Dubai Mall. And yeah, we are a bit far from airport. It can take 20 minutes. If it's traffic, it will be slightly more. But uh, we have Al Maktoum Airport around, so maybe, maybe soon uh, a lot of people will be coming to that airport. Definitely. That's why, like, I feel like now a lot of people are considering as well the area, like close to, let's say, Jebel Ali, because you know they are obviously now they kind of started construction back there, and a lot of the people are seeing the potential around Jebel Ali. So. Yeah, that's gonna be as well for the future. And regarding other points you mentioned earlier about Business Bay, yes, we are also good in short-term rentals. Uh, we have sea access right here, so um, people who are living working here they can rent it out so uh, for 70, 80 thousand for long term, and they can reach 10, 12 percent ROI in average in short-term rentals because all hotels in November, December are fully packed and uh, people need to live somewhere, so... I can agree with you on that because I have a friend who actually has an Airbnb here in Marina and <laughs> she's making it even more now with the new year, Christmas is coming and winter basically. It's absolutely fantastic for the, for the short term Airbnb system. It so, is. Yeah. yeah, and about our surprise area, uh, we were talking about maritime city actually and we are just thinking about the future of future waterfront community. 
because uh, it's on that side, closer to Business Bay, I think it's 20 minutes uh, for it? No, actually it's closer. I used to work there before. It's like 10 to 15 minutes, depends obviously on the traffic and so on. But it's like very easy access. You just like basically go it one way and you reach in 15 minutes if there's no traffic, let's say. Yeah. And it's uh, and right now we're looking at a lot of, a lot of uh, actually developers going into the towards that area. And what do you believe is going to happen in the future? Do you see the same potential, let's say, like Dubai Marina? Looking um, I do. I do see a lot of potential because I've seen how Marina was growing up. Because uh, my family, we invested here when it was like beginning of 2000s and everything was like desert. That's what Maritime City reminded me right now. Uh, but through years, you can see how it was grown up and as we discussed already, uh, there are a lot of uh, options of things to do here, like uh, beach access, promenades uh, and uh, three malls around, plus Palm Jumeirah as an attraction as well. Uh, so I feel like within 10 years or maybe faster that area will grow as well and uh, considering we have like amazing projects like recently there was the new yeah, release the new actually we were speaking today about it it's they originally launched two towers which obviously they had so much demand on it and people were requesting and requesting and now they launched the tower three which is like obviously it's fantastic because they give you like more options to, to choose from and their payment plan as well is like very good and it's very long payment plan, 1% monthly payments that a lot of people are looking for in terms of investment. And not only the new, you know, it's like many other developers like the map as well, like it's multiple developers are considering the area and I personally believe it will have a potential in the future. Even now that the only existing building there, they're making very good uh, oil already. So yeah, it's around 120,000 for one bedroom. Imagine. Oh, yeah, imagine so when, when the rest is actually. Exactly, when the rest are coming, imagine like what would be there. Yeah, yeah. also they will have this Imar uh, community developed right yeah. be behind. Exactly. Yeah. So Imar are always strong in the communities and they will have amazing infrastructure over there. Yeah, it's like where Imar goes, you know, <laughs> the rest will follow usually. It's <laughs> yeah, true. Imar, they, they build, of course, a very good community and projects yeah. as well. So. There is something else I wanted to mention about Marina and Maritime City and Business Bay. There is something in common, which is waterfront. That's the key factor for me personally, because you just have open sea view in Marina, in Maritime City and in Business Bay you have Canal. Exactly. There was a project, Canal Heights. Yeah, Canal Heights and there's Canal Crown as well. There's like multiple projects basically happening in Business Bay, not only from the map, from other developers as well. And you still have some stock over there, which people are, let's say, whoever is looking for Bush Khalifa view, we can still try to get them some units there. Whoever's interested, more than happy to obviously contact us. We can discuss what's there, either like one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms or whatsoever. And yeah, it's I would say it's a really good investment looking future wise. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's true, especially like this canal heights and so they're right next to canal and people like waterfront. But the thing is which I'm always like how to call it, I'm in love with this fact actually, because uh, when Business Bay just started and Marina just started they had lower prices and imagine like canal heights should be around one point three million exactly. for studio. And uh, on this maritime city, the prices are incredibly lower for the investment. Yeah, but I mean, if you're considering, I mean, if you're looking, both of them have potential. The reason is the first one, obviously, business bay, you have Burj Khalifa view, which everyone knows Burj Khalifa. Everyone is obsessed with Burj Khalifa. All the tourists are coming <laughs> to see Burj Khalifa. Like, if you're looking from the other side, maritime city, they have like sea view, right? So, both of them, if you ask me, they have, I would say, almost the same potential. Like obviously, uh, business base is more developed in terms of development and area around it, like while Maritime City will be developed in the future. So once your, let's say, your building will be completed, you are expecting a couple of other buildings around you to be there. So future looking, both of them have potential. Obviously, depends on each investor what exactly they prefer. We need to obviously, you know, how it works. Yeah. We need to extract the best of what they're actually looking for. So yeah, personally, I love both of them. Nice. And um, do you think there are like we are discussing if it will be the same as Marina or Business Bay? Do you think there are any challenges for it to become same successful? 
Not necessarily because look, if you're looking now at Marina, it's still successful regardless that it's most of the buildings are old, right? I mean, just a couple of them new right now, but the rest are old buildings. And they're still successful because they're very close to the beach. While looking on the other side, in Maritime City, for example, it's going to be a new area, right? So let's call it the new marina, I would say, right? So looking future-wise, I would say it might have the same potential. Same, like, you know, new buildings, new investors, new people, very close to downtown as well. So let's say from marina to downtown, you do obviously a little bit like longer, while from, yeah, from Maritime City, it's closer to downtown. So I would say it's going to have very good potential. And about potential business, but do you feel about certain projects like that it will be something amazing in the future and people should definitely invest there? You mean Maritime City or Business Bay? I mean Bay. Business Bay because uh, Maritime City, we already kind of discussed that it's yes. having good prices with potential growth areas developing, but what about Yes, Business Bay? as you know, like Business Bay it's limited in plots at the moment because most of the plots they're either like already constructing or they started the construction and so on but definitely we, we are expecting some more launches like personally recently it was another launch which I really like it's the Iowa like it's very nearby same you have Bush Khalifa view it's like it's absolutely amazing but it's it will come more we obviously we don't have exact information where and how but for sure there's still some available plots so it's still it's still gonna happen personally I love Connor Crown so that's why I was mentioning earlier but yeah there's multiple other options very cool and yeah thank you for what about like Marina is what I'm aware is as you know there's not many like coming up because of limited plots there yeah, as well that's the thing which about one would you yeah which one would you let's say recommend or like uh, that's the thing about Marina, we have very limited amount of plots here these days because all the area was uh, quite developed so these years but we still have some uh, things coming up because you know that was uh, such a success that they built beachfront even extra land or blue waters just to get more uh, seafront uh, buildings because they are quite crisis resistant and uh, it's uh, amazing investment if you have the right budget so Right now, the market is developing uh, the Mango Bay in Marina, next to the harbor, which is uh, close to beachfront. So that's uh, a chance because it's beachfront property. It's totally luxury. It has uh, amazing amenities. Uh, we amenities the level we haven't seen earlier in Dubai. I was about to ask because that's one of my favorite projects. <laughs> to be honest, right now in Dubai. Also, they don't have as much availability as they used to, but it's it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, if people can catch the unit there, they're lucky. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I know, like from Shoba, they had as well similar, but obviously people have differences when it comes yeah, to choosing that. Yeah, Shoba is good in terms of like quality. Everyone is happy, handover, so. But the only factor which for me it's a bit not that is they don't have beach access but still the property in terms of investment is really amazing because it's still waterfront and the quality of Shoba is outstanding like, I would buy there if there was not a Magbe <laughs> I would say like you know people who know Shoba they're definitely gonna choose Shoba people who like don't know Shoba it's obviously the Magbe it's it's a little bit more like eye-catchy because it's like branded, it's like seafront, they have beach access, it's like multiple, obviously multiple other extras. But yeah, I, I totally love the project. Yeah, Denmark is quite ruling the world, I would say, because they even have project in Maritime City as well. Exactly. With, uh, which was designed by some very famous artists and they have elephants everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's really exactly. nice. They know how to be Spots. Yeah, exactly. And usually they're launching and launching a lot, so it's always we always have what to sell from them. So I would say like it's really good. Like it's yeah. one of the top developers to sell right now, and people know them, so they're very long in the market as well. So yeah, yeah. and uh, it says for me that actually Maritime City will be a good spot to invest because uh, big developers are coming there. Like Omni Yachts having second project Anva Area there and uh, also Damak is there with this uh, luxury thing plus what we have the new which is the most affordable option yeah. with payment plan and um, did I forget something? DR, DR yeah, DR, yeah, they had something there I mean, I don't remember now but they were 
the version of them. Yeah. So the developers speaking good spots are actually elevating the area. Yeah. Man. Anyway, it was great talking to you. Yeah. I guess we'll stay on a second one. So we to discuss more and different uh, different other projects. Yeah, there are so many topics to discuss in terms of like real estate, especially when two real estate uh, brokers are talking now in the market. We always have uh, some useful insights new from each other. Exactly. Yeah. So great talking to you. Thank Hopefully you for we'll your be, time. Uh, we'll be again soon.